Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Hey guys, what's up? I'm your host Ryan Bennett and I am walking you through season two of Batwoman. So cool, so excited. This is episode two we're going to talk about today. So let's get into it. This is very much still an aftermath of Kate Kane sort of episode. You know, key players are still, you know, of course, Ryan, Alice, Sophia. So yeah, it's very much we're trying to figure out where Ryan fits all into this, why these, why us as eager fans are waiting for her to put on this bat suit for real, for real, you know, not just kind of uh, looking her way into it, so to speak. So the main thing we kind of we kind of deal with opening up here is like I said, we're still in this aftermath effect and we have the crows, um, i.e. just Sophie and Jake want to bring in Luke and Mary for questioning because, you know, they now have put together the pieces that Batwoman was Kate Kane, which I'm like, Sophie, you you've been kissing her a couple of times as Kate and Batwoman. But, you know, never mind. Never mind. That's besides the point, I guess. So anyway, they've now put the pieces together. That's Batwoman. So they bring him in for question. And by the way, Luke and Mary, gold stars, you cannot interrogate these two because they didn't get nothing from them. End up having to let them go because Luke hits her with the line that, hey, um, it's too bad she didn't have somebody that loved her had her back. So, you know, that kind of got Sophie and her feelings. So she left out. Also, what also had Sophie and her feelings this episode was Julia. And by the way, they have now officially broken up because she knows she doesn't trust Julia because Julia knew who Batwoman was all along. And she's like, no, I ain't having that. Also, the Sophia thing is kind of hanging over Julia. So Julia had a rough episode this time. So their relationship is gone. So sorry for all you shippers out there. That's that may or maybe it'll come back. I don't know. Maybe sort of. I don't know. But we also see Ryan as well. You know, she's given back the, the bat suit here. And so Ryan is going through this, this change of, um, you know, trying to, fi- trying to figure out her life. She's still trying to find a job. She tries security, but that doesn't go very well. It's like, come on, is Ryan going to get a break? Does Ryan have anyone having her back? So then we're left with that. And we get this interesting conversation that we find out Ryan and Sophie know each other. So that could be an interesting dynamic. Crows have brought her in a couple of times, with brought, which brought in some rays, some other couple of things. You know, she knows, you know, Ryan has this vendetta against Alice because of what da- went down with her foster mom. So that's going to bring up a lot of interesting tensions as we go forward. So, you know, Ryan and Sophie, there we go. Also, we have a Ryan and Mary thing because, you know, Mary is this, Mary is stuck in a hard place where Mary has hope for Kate. You know, that's her sister. She has hope she's going to come back. But Mary also is not stupid. Like she knows, OK, this city needs a hope, a symbol of hope. You know, she has she's starting to have this commonality with Ryan because now we, we remember um, Alice uh, killed Mary's mom in the previous in the first season so ryan and mary also had that in common that they're both trying to go after alice in a serious way and they don't really care whether she lives or, you know well they probably want her to die but you know we got to be careful because ryan is now kind of in this batwoman code of batwoman doesn't kill people so that comes up a lot in this episode as well so basically very two cool interesting relationships here going forward with ryan and sophie and then ryan and mary so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that also, while we have the Ryan and Mary conversation, Alice is very much sprinkled in between this, this like going for everybody kind of this episode, kind of sprinkling in and out their lives in different ways. So Alice, um, while Ryan and Mary are talking, Alice ends up somehow getting mouse, uh, the dead mouse that she has, by the way, strapped a rat to, which caused a bat, a swarm of bats to inject him with poison or get or uh, basically bite him so now the bats have the poison I should say the other way around because you know it's Alice like do we really need to dissect why she's trying to do something else crazy but I will give I will say this though she is trying everybody's trying to get to the Sophia lady who we have not met yet so you know kind of smart-ish I mean I don't really know if you want to go after another psycho you got one psycho going after another psycho so mm, we'll see how this goes But anyway, it starts to give them a kind of piece of Alice's new plan, where Alice is going next, because nobody really knows what's going on with her right now. She's also, you know, she's not going to go through the grieving phase because we know she's feeling something not having Kate around anymore, but she's not going through that typical phase. So Mouse rolling in gives them a kind of hint of what's going on, but they still haven't really figured it out. So another thing with Alice coming into picture to trying to figure out her plan, we have Mary, Luke, and Ryan, you know, this new bat team, 
Luke, by the way, is still very much on his feelings this whole episode. And I'm like, come on, Luke, give Ryan a break. Come on now. But it's that very interesting dynamic, like I said, of Mary being on Ryan's side. Luke is still fighting it. He's like, no, this suit is for Kate. No, you know, he also feels guilty about what he went through. Um, you know, feeling like, probably still feeling like he wasn't there for Kate when she needed him. So, or the fact that he sent her away to look for that kryptonite. So, you know, there's that. So there's still this very interesting struggle in here. But, you know, I feel like if Luke would have been a part of that scene earlier where she was kicking butt in the pharmacy trying to find her some medicine, because we know she's still dealing with that kryptonite energy. You know, did y'all see the slide on the floor though with the punch? I was like, mm, Luke, come on now. Come with it now. She got that martial arts background. Come on with it. Come with it. Come with it. But, you know, he's still kind of hanging tough. You can't blame him, though. You know, he's still on. He's trying to have still have Kate's back. It's only episode two. So we're rolling with it. But basically, they come to the conclusion like, okay, there's a bad woman rally. They think Alice is about to have, she needs a big public event for to do her craziness for something to go down. So they need a step in for Batwoman, okay? So they finally come to the conclusion, Luke hating it all the way around, but Ryan is going to put on the bat suit. Now, this was hard for me because we all know that Ryan Rout is about to step up, be this kick-ass Batwoman, but she has not got the true permission yet, okay? She's still in very much in Kate Kane's world which is hard for me and it was it was very quick kind of cringe worthy to kind of see her have to try to convince these people in the park like hey I'm Batwoman you know and you got Sophie looking at her weird and you got Jake you know calling her a poster and trying to get her down and everything it was just a very awkward weird moment the and the only thing that can make it even more awkward is when Alice comes back again so now Alice has now officially met uh ryan and now knows or you know i'm sure alice probably already has some background details and knows what's going down anyway but now knows there's a new bat one on the, on the scene so they have a cool hand-to-hand -hand combat fight it out which is very interesting so you know there's that so ryan has a lot of new relationships a lot of new dynamics going forward as we go so she you know she's on the path of trying to stop this bat rally the anger takes over her you know she's not quite batwoman fully yet let's just say and so she doesn't have that code and not want to kill people. And she wants Alice bad. So that takes off. But as soon as that's about to go left and we're going to see where it's going to happen, where it's going to end up, these bats start attacking all the people at the rally. So basically they are injecting them with this poison that um, they have, they have getting from eating a uh, mouse up. So they're going around taking out all these people in the city. So basically it becomes a race of, okay, Ryan is trying to, trying to find the honing signal to get these bats away, which by the way, it's hilarious that she is afraid of bats, by the way. So she's trying to get these bats to get away from all the people. You got Mary, you got Sophie and everybody trying to find an antidote because if you don't get an antidote, she's basically about to kill up all these people in the city, um, Alice, just to get the Sophia, just for this one little plan, because that's how Alice rolls. So they end up doing all, you know, they end up going their separate ways. We get to see these back and forth of the camera shots, how they're going back and forth, back and forth. Who's going to do what? So then what ends up happening is Ryan has this clever idea of drawing the bats into a bus and then the blow, blowing them up. And then she has this cool heroic moment where this woman is like, are you bad woman? She's like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not bad woman. And we're all like, no, yes, you are. But the, but the woman is like, yes you are well you're bat woman to me so that kind of warms our heart we're like okay she's finally sort of stepping into okay she's bat woman a little bit she's coming closer and closer to it so that makes me super excited the other scene that kind of got me really hyped about this is that she goes back we see him back in the bat cave luke ryan mary and ryan is like look okay i get what i did i understand and she's like but give me a chance to be batwoman and we know we still got luke on the side like no you don't understand this you know he's still holding out hope and mary's like well look we need somebody because alice is up to something but it was really cool to just see ryan fight for this and, you know sometimes and at the same time you think in the back of your head okay what does she have to do y'all kate's not coming back right now you need a bad woman she got the combat skills but i guess y'all haven't written this yet she knows the criminal lifestyle which i guess they wouldn't know either because she knows how to get in the heads of these criminals so she has on the back end to do this she just needs this bat team to believe in her she needs some backup so, you know, if people don't, you know, sometimes you got to fight for what you believe in, right? So the age, I, the age old motto of that. And, um, you know, she has, she needs a, she needs a win right now. She needs an, she needs an option. She needs something that's that extra hope for her. And that is this bat suit. And also what I love too, is that they had this letter because I was looking for something to really solidify to Ryan without her having to prove to people that this is her suit. Like we want to see this melanin in this cow. This is for her. 
and we get to see this cool moment where Kate leaves Ryan a letter the night of the night that um Ryan the night that Batwoman when um it was Kate saved Ryan and talked about how she had this confidence how she had this power and this hope that the city needs and so that was kind of cool to kind of give this permission from Kate to Ryan like hey you could be Batwoman and then also to see Ryan turn around and is like hey now I'm gonna make notes and I'm gonna leave you um you know, like these, these messages about my journey, how similar to how Kate was leaving Bruce uh, messages and letters about what she was doing. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, that was pretty much the end of the episode. I'm hyped to see, you know, Ryan finally having this permission to have this, this um, uniform on this bat suit on. I'm hoping to see the upgrades because we know the hair and everything looks different and her posters and everything. So I can't wait to see that. Make it more of her. Like we want to see Javicia is badass. I've seen her do these fight scenes. We want to see her all the way transformed into this Batwoman, into this Batwoman look, this Batwoman suit. So I'm super excited about that. Coming up too, I want to give you a little bit of heads up of what we're looking at right now. And we saw to ver towards the very, very end of the episode, a lady named Tatiana comes to get Alice in the middle of Sophie trying to arrest Alice. So everybody gunning for Alice. So Tatiana ends up knocking out Sophie and she ends up knocking out Alice. She's going to take Alice to Sophia. So hopefully this next episode, we get to see this mysterious Sophia. Also, there's going to be a hitman in the next episode. And this is finally Ryan Wilder's into the bat suit doing her thing so we're gonna get to see how she's handling it when it's for like off the jump she's not stealing the suit from anybody nobody's just laying it out for her it's hers in a taking so we get to see what goes down and i'm excited melody to the bat cave it's gonna be dope so yeah i'm gonna keep you guys posted and we're gonna look out for episode three you guys stay safe as usual let us know your comments and you know what you think about batwoman so far bye guys thanks Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.